From AliExpress, look what I have ordered. The model is XL6009 Boost Converter Step Up Adjustable 15 watts, input voltage from 5 to 32 volts and output from 5 to 50 volts DC DC power supply module high performance low ripple. Alright. And I got it. I forgot to mention. 62 cents. It's not even a dollar. I see bubbles. Yes. They are empty. Oh no, no. They are good. Okay. I missed. Product description, it says input voltage here says it from 4.3 volts to 32 volts, output from 5 to 52 volts, incoming current 4 amperes maximum, efficiency 94%, the highest, and the normal efficiency is 85%, switching frequency 400 kHz, output ripple 50 mV, and the size is almost 7 cm by 3.8 cm. Now take a closer look of the PCB board or the DC-DC converter module and looking awesome. It has an arrow. It says this is the input, this is the output. I'm holding the wrong way. Sorry. We have Input, Output. The main integrated circuit is LM2596 with this blue thing multi turbo potentiometer so you can adjust the voltage. We have 7 segment LED voltmeter. One switch, we're gonna find out what is doing. Oh, there are two LEDs down. In and out, probably when you Push it will show the voltage input, press it voltage output. 15 watts of DC DC back boost converter. Okay, let's put some input and output wires. much faster with this electric screwdriver. Okay, tight. Let's hook up power now. Okay, my power supply is set on Twelve volts. Powering up in three, two, one. And yes. Take a look. It's showing one point thirty-two volts. From twelve volts, we we step down the voltage to one point three volts. By the way, to mention this is not step up, step down module. This is just step up. But if you put, let's say, 30 volts, you can adjust from 1.3 volts to maximum 30 volts. But this module cannot boost the voltage from 5, let's say, to 12 or 20 volts. It's not that kind of module. Right now we are getting in DC voltage 12 volts. It's showing the output right here. Just to zoom in. Okay, this is the output voltage. And when you press the button, will show the input voltage, 12.3 volts. I'm 
sending 12 volts but it's showing on the voltmeter 12.1 it's okay maybe when I touch the board it's increasing the voltage no, doesn't matter and with this multi-turn potentiometer you can adjust the voltage we're gonna go to output 1.3 okay one point look now we have 5 volts output and 12 volts input and it says that can handle 4 amperes which is nice and I like that it have this function you can monitor the input voltage and the output voltage on this on this tiny LED voltmeter okay let's hook up a testing bulb this is a car bulb works on 12 volts and it's pulling 1.7 amperes I'm gonna hook up right here on output and take a look we are at 5 volts output and input is 12 we're gonna increase the voltage to 12 volts let's say whoa it's not giving because my power supply is current limit let's allow to 2 amperes maybe all right increase a little bit more 10 all right need a little bit more voltage okay now you can see that the voltage input is 15 volts also you can see here just here the input is 15.8 volts and the output is 12.2 volts and if you increase the input voltage the output will stay the same 12.2 volts this is great it's super great that you can control the output DC voltage with this cheap DC to DC converter now we have 5 volts and the input is 18 volts great and you can monitor on this LED voltmeter which is good also you can control a fan using this module input 18 volts the output is almost 6 volts and you can increase the voltage or adjust the voltage output with the potentiometer and look it's getting faster Twelve volts. Now it's working much smooth. You can even hear it. Okay, now I'm gonna test the limit. How many amperes is gonna give this module? It says that it's maximum four amperes. I'm gonna try with three amperes that is a uh, 15 watts at 5 volts 5 volts times 3 amperes 15 watts my electronic load it's not finished yet but will be very soon and oh, I'm powering the electronic load and right now it's pulling 1.3 amperes from the power supply the voltage st stay at 5.3 volts increasing 5.3 and yes we have 3 amperes the voltage drop at how many 1.2 point it's giving 2.6 volts and then 2.8 it's holding 2. Point, yes 2.9 amperes and it's a little bit hot maybe need a heat, heat sink right here for 60 cents from Aliexpress this module is great I can't believe it that they build it for under one dollar 
with LED voltmeter, with the multi turn potentiometer, with the voltage regulator, the connectors, the PCB board. The link will be in the description below so, so you can check it. And that was all for today's video. Testing the very cheap DC to DC voltage converter. And he is doing a great job. Input 18 volts, output 5 volts, maximum 15 watts. Alright, please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya!